my beautiful buddies and welcome to rebuilding veronaville we are building the platinum gym so this gym is one from the pack of free time in the sims 2 um it's one of the sub neighborhoods um sims 2 works different than the sims 4 they have like sub neighborhoods for their um community lots so that's kind of where i get my inspiration for my community lots in the sims 4 for like my save file kind of thing um but yeah as usual they're like not directly like inspired off of like what's actually in the gym like what the gym actually looks like I kind of just do whatever I want when it comes to like these kind of things the only things I recreate are like the houses I, I try to get them to an exact T like an exact kind of like replica kind of thing but like updated but like for these community lots I have more creative freedom I feel like I feel like I could do something more different just because I feel like you know no one's gonna remember exactly what the platinum gym looked like and I from memory I think it was kind of ugly anyway <laughs> sorry don't hate me um but yeah so we're kind of updating this gym and I'm starting out here in the locker rooms um of like where the old harbor gym was in um Windenburg because of course um Windenburg is going to be like my blueprint for Veronaville um and yeah it's it's really, I think it's turned out really, really nice. I like the way it turned out, and I'm curious to see what you guys think, too. I also, too, added um, a spa area. So this gym does not only have, like, the exercise equipment and things like that and, like, you know, a nice locker room, but it has a pool and it has a yoga studio and somewhere to get your nails done um, in honor of, like, the spa day being refreshed. Um, I added those in it. So this is a really fancy gym like you like you probably pay a lot of money a month to go here like it's just a really fancy gym to me <laughs> um and you're gonna see like a transformation it's gonna go from like really modern looking on the outside to kind of like in my mind i feel like the exterior kind of started to look like an old factory that kind of gotten renovated into this gym and it i think it turned out really really well because like i obviously wanted to keep this harbor area because in Veronaville, if you haven't seen it it has two different aesthetics it has like the old english vibe which we already um had in windenburg and it fits so perfectly with this world which is a reason why a lot of you guys wanted me to put it here um but when windenburg has a very modern aesthetic to like the island part of it and like the harbor area but the <laughs> Ronaville does it so it has this Mediterranean style so I've like kind of like tried to I'm like trying to slowly transfer the areas that used to be very like modern to like very Mediterranean so it kind of looks like this like old factory that kind of has like a Mediterranean twist on it but the inside is very modern it sounds really weird but it just works in the end just trust me it works <laughs> and I think it fit in with like the Mediterranean restaurant that I did on the channel already um, for this town really well so you can kind of like see it in the background actually when I work on it in the beginning but it didn't go through my mind when I was building the outside like when I was kind of like renovating it that oh hey I was like doing that on purpose and then like I obviously like found out later when I was like working on it be like oh yeah I was like going for that aesthetic and not just like the modern one that was already here like I completely forgot for some reason um but yeah I think it it's turning out really really lovely um Veronaville is coming along it still just like has quite a few lots to go but I feel like I've doing pretty well like I've done the cafe I've done the restaurant I've um done the caps home I've done the the Montague's home or the Monty household I guess in this version um so it's coming along I have some like extra like lots that like I've done too um that like I haven't shown or they've been previous builds that I like converted to make more look to look more like this town on the outside um but yeah it's it's going well I'm like really excited to show you guys when it when it is all done but it still obviously has like quite a bit of work but yeah I'm just enjoying the ride also too I want to apologize for kind of like being like slightly inconsistent with my upload schedule because I've been trying to upload on the weekends, more more specifically on Saturday, and I will do really, really well for a couple of weeks, and then like something will happen, and I will disappear for a couple of weeks and come back for a couple of weeks. But I guess 
the important part is that I actually come back and I just don't like you know disappear just there's been so much going on on the weekends lately um like for example a couple weeks ago I went to my cousin's wedding and then like a couple weeks before that I had like my aunts and uncles like um anniversary party and things like that so there's just been like a lot going on and then like I I work too during the week so like it's been a little busy but like I love the weekends that I just am able to quietly sit down and work on the sims because like I always think about my channel and I always like love doing my channel and this has just been such a little passion project for me um as you guys know and I'm sure you guys can relate. Also too, if I sound a little bit different than normal, um, it's because I'm spending the weekend at my sister's house um, with my dog. <laughs> um, because at our house we're currently getting new heater and air conditioner and um, she's, she's away anyway. So it was like a nice quiet away from home time for me um, because yeah, I, I never really get that. <laughs> I never really got that since I like left college, which I'm really looking forward to having someday. Um, but yeah, <laughs> anyway, back on task here is that I, what was I saying? Oh, is that I am recording from my cell phone, like a, my, my audio right now. So if I sound a little bit different than like my normal nice mic, that's why I just didn't want to lug my my mic to like her house just for a weekend um but like you know like it carrying my my laptop for example isn't like too bad but yeah this is this is what we're doing so i hope it i hope it doesn't sound too bad i shouldn't sound too bad because i vlog on my cell phone too obviously and honestly before i got a mac i used to do this all the time so this is a pro tip free trip free tip for any of you new youtubers out there you don't need to spend a lot of money to like get a nice mic because chances are your cell phone probably has a pretty nice mic in it already and i feel like not enough people like take advantage of that you just need to like find a good app which is not hard to find like a free app that like records just your voice and like can send it to like your email address or something um yeah so that's a that's a tip for you this it has no relation to the video at all but it's a tip <laughs> um but yeah going going forward too um i kind of thinking about doing videos that are that for example like what i want to see in the pack refreshes because obviously spa day got a pack refresh um we also got a new kit which by the way too for for kits um since i am in the ea game changers program it actually has changed to like um something else now like ea network network program or something like that they recently just got a rebrand but yeah it's the same thing you got you guys know what i'm talking about um that i'm like doing like i think i'm gonna do like kits and like little lookbooks and just like little reviews on kits over on tiktok instead of like doing them on the channel just because i feel like kits are quite small and i kind of feel like people you don't really need like a 10 minute video on like just a few items so let me know what you think unless there's like quite a few or something that's like really exciting um but yeah that's kind of like what i'm currently doing i think so yeah like keep out for that i've just been obviously a little bit behind with my scheduling because of um just like i've had busy weekends um but yes that's kind of like where i'm going like between this whole veronaville thing because like i just feel like i've been building so much and i feel like you guys really enjoyed that video where i like showed you different challenges and things like that and i feel like maybe i need to throw in things more like that and like different mods um or how would you guys feel too if i showed you guys like current households and i don't know just got some like different type of content like or even like like i said like those podcasty type videos of like what i would like to see in a pack refresh like let me know if you guys like that content um i also have a vlog for when i went to colorado this past summer that i haven't um edited yet but i want to i really really want to um i've just been like prioritizing i feel like the save file just because i feel like i've been working on it a million years but i i love it <laughs> and i want to get it out to you guys and i know you guys want it too um but yeah thank you guys for being like patient with me of course and everything in this chapter i guess of the channel i don't know what i'm saying but you could you guys know what i'm saying i hope you do at least like basically like i'm i'm happy that like you know as times change we we all we all stay together we all have things that we keep that we love um 
But yeah, as you can see, when I was upstairs in the build, um, I added like a little like food courty type area. It's using those like cafeteria things from like Sims, the Sims University pack. I, I forget exactly what it's called, but yeah, I hope, I don't know if that actually works, if they'll come to serve you food, but I guess you'll find out because <laughs> I just thought it was cute because usually in gyms, sometimes they'll have like a little like place where you can like get like a green juice or something like that. So that was kind of like the inspiration. So I like use that room as that because if I remember correctly, they had like a kitcheny area type thing anyway. Also too, fun fact, the mini fridges, you can also use to get, um, like facials now so that's also like a dual purpose refrigerator just so you know even if you don't even if like the food court area doesn't exactly work or you have to like pay for it to hire them that's something that you could do <laughs> and obviously you can see here i'm like trying really really hard to like fit the onsen in this gym too but it just doesn't work there's just not enough room so i was like okay i'm calling it <laughs> i'm calling it a day we don't need this um so <laughs> yeah, sad times, I didn't get it to fit in, but it's okay because there's a lot of lovely things here. Like I even fit like this, like that like cute, like Zen rock garden type thing in the back of the yoga studio. Um, and I even kind of like make it like honestly, it's own kind of like shop in the building too, like in the outside. It turned out really cute because I put the sign. I just love the way it turned out. It just, this whole build it just, it turned out really good. Like it's kind of like a build that's actually quite simple. Um, even like for its size, but like it just turned out in my mind I really like the way it turned out I think think it just turned out perfect for for all of you guys Like it's just the perfect gym to go to like I really doubt any of the sims are gonna be like hogging all the machines uh, Actually, I don't know about that. <laughs> I put in quite a few but we never know um, Also, too if you guys wondering why to why I put bowling ball racks out in the um, in the gym area in my mind that's kind of like weightlifting like they're kind of like the dumbbells um so if you guys are wondering like why the heck does she put like you know like bowling balls in her gym that it's just basically like a decoration to me like in my mind i think oh that's that's the dumbbells um so that's why i do it i just i just think it's like a cute little a little thing <laughs> um i don't know you guys can like delete it if you guys don't like it but i thought it like added some cute like clutter like if you if you if you get the vibe that i was going for um but yeah, as you can see here, um, I think I'm like starting to realize on the outside, like, hey, this is way too modern. Like, we gotta, we gotta change this pretty soon. Um, yeah, and that's, and that's what I'm like doing. Although I do have to say though, I, if I was keeping this and it was just like a normal save file, like I wasn't trying to recreate Ronaville, I would actually keep the outside of the, it, like the way that I color blocked it and everything, because it looked really pretty. It looked really cute. I just. It just didn't work for like what I was, what I needed, you know? Um, so like, yeah, as you can see too, like I, I changed it to like more of a brick exterior and things like that. So it turned, I'd say, say it turned out all in all well. Um, you can let me know. Also too, um, if you're a fan of my save file and you like playing in it, let me know what other community lots that you are dying to have. Obviously where the nightclub is in the background, like I'm sure you can see this nightclub here. I love that nightclub. It's one of my favorite nightclubs in the entire game. And I also want to build like another one there. But however, I just don't know if we need two nightclubs in this town because there's also another one. Um, so let me know what other kind of builds you guys would like because obviously I'm trying to go for a variety with this town. Like I've only made, like I converted one of the cafes because there was multiple cafes into a restaurant and I'm trying to like go for different different types of builds, you know? Um, so yeah, let me know. I feel like I've been having fun with that. I feel like I've had a lot of creativity figuring out what kind of, what kind of um, different things that I could I could do in The Sims for like my mine. Ironically though, I build a save file, but when I in my personal time when I play, um, which I haven't actually had personal time to play lately, which is funny. Um, but when I do, um, I actually have um, you. I use other people's save files, which is funny because obviously I build my own, so it's like why would I use my own? But I think it's fun to like see what other people like to create <laughs> as well. Um, yeah <laughs> i say yeah a lot in my videos i feel like when i when i finish things 
but yeah let me know how you guys are doing lately how are you guys doing um um i know we're kind of like still covid still going on we're still going strong with it um but yeah i hope you guys and your families are also really well um and yeah as you can see here here is where i try to like make like that whole like i don't know what kind of roofing this is you guys know it's like the Spanish style, Mediterranean style roofing that you see a lot in California that I just can't think of the name right now. It will probably pop into my head after I honestly end this video like usual. Um, but yeah, I kind of like put it on there. It, it looks a little, now that I'm looking at it, I know it kind of like looks like a little unconventional, but like doesn't it look cute though for like a building? Like you could kind of see like, hey, this used to be like an old factory and now it's, a gym like I went for that vibe um, but unfortunately there isn't a lot of like really big windows that aren't modern windows so I try with the best that I have um, and I like the way it turned out because like those other wooden windows that are kind of modern like I kind of use them because I needed a step between modern and really traditional for this because in my mind this building was an old factory that got modernized but it's not in its nature to be really really modern just because of the whole style of the town does that make sense i hope it makes sense to some people um but yeah let me know too what you guys are playing like whose channels have you guys been loving lately um is there any um challenges you guys been playing that you guys like as well um any mods that you guys are enjoying lately any new ones um i know arnie um he he he's doing like a creative style one which sounds really really cool i've seen it um on on twitter i think like a couple weeks ago or something like that so that sounds like really cool i don't know when that's coming out or if it's come came out yet from like when i'm recording this to be honest um but yeah also too what are you guys gonna be for halloween if you guys are going out for halloween this year and if you're not um do you guys doing anything chill for halloween i actually might see a friend um and do something like kind of chill this year um which is nice just because i feel like that's a step up from last year because i feel like i feel like i spent like almost the entire year indoors <laughs> um but yeah also too something fun is that i've got this gel nail kit um so i've been like having lots of fun with like doing my nails lately um but yeah i always like have this issue where like one or two nails will chip so early than the rest of them but the rest of them will be fine so i feel like i just got to get better at doing them but lately since i've been actually like taking care of my nails and just letting them grow out i have um i have been like they've been growing out quite a lot like they look really long and strong um because i'm not an acrylic person i really am not um i like kind of like using my own nails if possible so like it's it's been nice like kind of like doing this it's fun because i never used to like do my nails because i would always chip them but like for the most part they're staying pretty well except for like one or two nails all the time but i don't know it's probably just something i'm doing <laughs> i'm doing wrong with those two nails um but yeah let me know too are you guys into like doing that type of thing honestly i know it sounds silly but i feel like the pot spa day refresh kind of inspired me to do it and like get it oh now that i'm looking at it <laughs> this is i'm going off on such random tangents in this video but it's okay i feel like you guys kind of like it it's like having like a session with friends um should I do like a bowling alley in the other in the other nightclub in like the one that's like in the old English? Like that would be fun, maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it. Let me know if you guys like that idea. Um, or like maybe like a roller skating bar. Oh my god, that would be so cute. Oh my god, have you guys ever ever guys went roller skating when you guys were younger? I haven't been roller skating in years. Um, but that sounds actually kind of cute. Is there a thing? Is there is there roller skating bars? If there's if not, I feel like there should be. Although I feel like that'd be kind of that could be kind of dangerous if you got a little juiced. Um, but yeah, here we are at the end of the video. I got cut off there. I have no idea why my audio got cut off, but I just wanted to say please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like the build and if you have any more suggestions for me for the town or the channel. I love you guys all so 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 much. And remember, we're almost at three thousand, and I love each and every one of you and the love and the joy that you guys bring me. Um, so I'll see you soon okay bye 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 i don't wanna let you down 
It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay Even when you wanna walk away When time Get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna